Cancer. My fellow Cancers. Welcome to Hype Man Messages. My name is Alvin, if you don't know. <coughs> Showing some cleavage today. <laughs> uh, please like, share, and subscribe these for me. Um, if it resonates with you and you like it, or you like the message, or it resonates, or you like me, just 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 please share it. It goes a long way. It really does. And this is my I am devoting all my time into this. So I am here to hype any everyone and anyone up, but you know I realize I can't fix everybody. So I just hope it gets to the right person, you know. Uh, if you're watching this on Instagram, you're only gonna see the first 15 minutes. Uh, I've noticed they're not even in the they're like 15, like 16 minutes is like the most, but the rest is in YouTube. Please go to YouTube. Link is in my bio. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, link is below for uh, personal readings. I have $15 personal readings for the month of April. So feel free to snag that if you want a little hype session. I also incorporate uh, a little bit of theta and a little bit of theta healing and counseling. So it's like a tarot counseling session, really, and that's what eventually it will be. Take what resonates, let the rest flow. You know, I'm setting the intention of providing you positive messages of love and light. And then we're gonna go over some astrology aspects, what's happening collectively, what's happening specifically for cancer. Then we're gonna see what's your current energy, what's blocking you, and what you don't see coming. And then we're close it off with a card, a crystal, crystal card from Janet Weinberg's crystal deck. Cool. So, oh, we have, so astrologically what's happening. We have the new moon in Aries on the 11th of April, which is always with the new moon, like I always say, is setting new intentions. Um, I get all my, my astrology information from Gabe Stefan. His information is down below. Feel free to follow. Uh, he can do a nice birth chart and, and read you to pieces, sweetie, because he can, he'll pull out the dirt. Um, setting new intentions, right? New beginnings, taking action, bold fire. Think about what's on your mind right now. Right, like right now, right? I'll give you five seconds to think about that. Why did you click this reading? What did you want to understand? Okay, take action. Take control of that situation. If there's something that's slipping your grip, you're not in control, right? If there's something that you're not sure about, that's because you're not in control of the situation. You know, don't be aggressive. And don't be passive, but don't be passive aggressive either. Um, but take control. That's what collectively everyone's going to want to take control over things. And the energy is only here for about 20 days. Things will slow down around the 23rd when Mars goes into Cancer. Mars is not like Cancer. Mars is not like Cancer. So things will slow down. Right. So for Cancers, new beginnings like career society professional like that is the energy that we are going into with like legit um, what are you providing hmm. new goals requires you to step outside your comfort zone right so do something that you don't normally would do step outside your comfort zone because you never want to meet that person meet that job um, get that off, see that meet that person that's going to lead you in the right direction. You're going to be in contact with a lot of people. Pretty much, you're going to be leveling up. Uh, right? This whole year, can't really, really are, to be honest. It's actually pretty crazy. No, not going to lie. My cosmic moon child. So let's see what, what the current energy is like. Yeah, tell me about what's Cancer's current energy. Okay, let's cancel this current energy. So vibe check. Vibe check. Oof. Yes. King of fire. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. You are motivational. You're inspiring. You are ambitious. You are taking a leadership role. You are your creativity is like on fire right now. Stepping into the spotlight. <laughs> Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Okay, King of Wands. This is King of Fire. Right? Who's the King of Wands? Big picture thinker, right? Think big, like pull out, pull back and look at the bigger picture like a giraffe. I wish I had my animal, my spirit animals, giraffe spirit. 
Look at the bigger picture. Pull up and pan up. What's the bigger idea? Yes, tend to the small things, mouse spirit. The small things can lead to the big things, but the energy you're in is you're thinking big. Right? You are thinking big and you're emotionally your emotions are in check. King of water. Because you did a lot of work. Ooh, I'm pulling right from the bottom. I didn't use a shuffle. Right from the bottom. You did the self work. You you're in a very good place. You're sitting pretty like a princess. I'm like the empress. Sitting pretty, beautiful, luxurious. There's still work to be done. The Empress, this just doesn't do anything. You might be in that energy very well, especially look this, especially with this um, royalty here. Like you're sitting on your throne, really pretty. Right? Uh, tell us what else. What do we need to know about this King of Fire? Communicate your vision. Don't be so sensitive to criticism. Damn, I wish I would. I, I need to hear that. <laughs> Patience. Patience, you know, take control and, 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 and things will come in due time. You do your due diligence. Take action and put the effort in and things will manifest for you. Sagittarius energy here. Balance, 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 balance. Stay balanced and things will manifest for you. Oh my God, at the bottom. Look at this. Ten, ten, ten of cups. Ultimate abundance, family, joy, happiness. Wow, well, yeah. Very good vibe check, not gonna lie. <laughs> what's blocking you? Let's check that out. I'm gonna use the knowledge deck to see what's blocking you. What is blocking you? What is blocking you? What is blocking cancer in the month of April? Our self-doubt. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You know what's crazy? That my moon is in Virgo. And that, I doubt myself a lot. I take other people's criticism a little too seriously. And I doubt myself. So we have a lot of self-doubt that we need to work on here, right? Spirit, what do we need to know about this? Uh, you are good enough. That's a blockage, right? It's blocking you from being this king of, king of fire, this empress, king of cups. This solid, stable, compassionate energy. You are good enough with your emotions. Pisces card here. If you do things with passion and compassion, right? passion and compassion, know the difference between what's reality and what's fantasy. You're a little lost in there. Like you're getting lost in La La Land. And thinking you're not worthy and we need to change that we need to fall back way back more back if you need to four of swords pull back rest a little bit contemplate meditate contemplate so that you can find your worthiness again right should be no reason why you don't have time to just contemplate on things and you are good enough I don't know who's telling you otherwise. Hmm. What you don't see coming. Let's take a look at that. What does cancer not see coming? What? What's coming from cancer? What you don't see coming. This was for me too. <clears throat> six of cups. I'm sorry, six of coins and queen of swords. What you don't see coming here. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance is coming towards you. Sharing your wealth with others. There's going to be equal give and take. You're going to have so much to give back because you're putting in so much effort. That is what's coming towards you. Like you are good enough because you're about to get so much abundance, so much coins, sweetie, 
that you'll have enough to give back to the poor, give back to those who helped you, give back just in general. There'll be an equal give and take in all your relationships. Queen of Air. Brilliant, experienced, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Right? Seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career. You're sharp, you're clear. What you don't see is that things will be so crystal clear and crystal sharp for you that you're gonna have, you're gonna be, spirit is going to give you so much abundance because you're putting in so much work and effort into what you're doing. Drop the self doubt. You got what it takes, period. Like we all have what it takes. That's literally just our mind fucking with us. The mind should not speak to you. The mind should not talk to you. You know, dig down, let's do some theta healing. You know, we'll, we'll dig into your subconscious. What's, what's blocking you? What belief system do you have that is preventing you from moving forward? And it might not even be your belief system. It could have been something passed down from your family or an old belief system that needs to be removed because it's no longer who you are. It no longer represents who you are. That's what theta healing does. We go into your subconscious. We put you in the theta state, which is a brainwave state. Alpha state is when you are like doing yoga and meditation, and then we go into the theta state, just a little deeper meditation, and we we ask probing questions. We use your polarity to ask you questions and and to see where you're really at. What's your about the body check, right? And then we pull them out and we ask the commit commander, creator, God, Allah, spirit, source to remove those belief systems and replace them with something else that we want, something else that we're more in line with. I'm going to pull a crystal healing card from uh, Janet Weinberg's crystal healing deck. Oh, okay, I'm going to get two. Turquoise. Relax. Relaxes your mind. If these resonate with you, look them up. Uh, you can purchase them from crystal stores. Amethyst, divine connection. Oof. So when I, part of theta is we have to, there's a, a process of going down to the center of the earth, down your chakras, down to the center of the earth, looking at a rock or a stone and then feeling the heat of the universe and then bringing it back up to go up to the commander. It's a visual in order to get you in a meditative state. The rock that I look at, it actually looks similar to this. Uh, kind of. It looks, I, I see amethyst, purple, with the back is gray. Um, so if these resonate with you, feel free to look them up. Readers, other readers have, have uh, crystal shops. I don't have merch yet. Um, but feel free to. I have Maloho. I love this one. Starseed Jewels. Maloho from Charlene Lizette. Star C. Star C. S E A Jewels. Um, no, she's not a promo. I'm not promoing her, but yeah. I hope this message resonates with us, Cancer. I will see you guys next time. Links in the bio for everything. Astrology from Gabe Stefan. His information is down below as well.